Hey everyone, it is Wednesday, March 16th. The time is 10.37 a.m. and the temperature is around 28 degrees Celsius. And it seems to be getting hotter by the second. And I just got dropped off here at Terminal 3 at the International Airport here in Cancun. And for this one, I'll be heading on into the airport. I've already pre-checked in, but I'm not sure if they take electronic boarding passes here or not. I just have to take a second to slide on my mask. I'm flying Air Canada and they use Terminal 3 here. The other Canadian airline, WestJet, I think I saw a sign that says they use Terminal 4. So things are quite busy. I'm just going to find out where Air Canada is. And I don't think my flight is on the board yet. I am here a little more than three hours in advance. I just follow the time recommended by the resort. Oh, I think I found Air Canada. All right, so I'm going to go through the check-in process here. And I think I'll resume recording maybe once I'm on the other side of security. Looks like there's some food options here, an ATM. There's a Starbucks. And a whole lot of people. All right, so I will see you on the other side of security. Okay, I have checked in. That was pretty quick and painless. Now to fly into Canada, you do have to fill out a rather annoying part of the Arrive Can app. And they ask you to show that at check-in along with your negative COVID test. But apparently security is up this way. There's the Berry Hill, Baja Grill, and Cantina. I don't think I was in this terminal the last time I flew into Cancun. And here's the line through security. That looks pretty busy. All right, so I'll put the camera away again. And once I get through this, I'll once again resume recording. Hopefully this won't take too long. I do have a couple of friends trailing me as well. They just went to the bathroom. But all right, I will be back, but it looks like it's not going to be for a while. This might take an hour or so. And we're through. So I think that took somewhere around 50 minutes or so. Yeah. 
And other than the long wait, it was a relatively painless experience. And of course, you get ushered through a duty-free shop once you go through security. It's clear they're trying to get you to spend whatever cash you have left. Pretty standard fare for a duty-free shop. And my gate is C12. But since I have a bit of time, I think we'll just take a walk around this entire area. So let's head over here. And while I was in line for security, I was reading that this airport opened back in the early 70s. I think it said 1974. And it is Mexico's second busiest airport. And I think it's the third busiest in Latin America. no shortage of food options. The marketplace. I think that might be all that's down this way, but we'll find out. Johnny Rockets. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Believe it or not, there was one right around the corner from where I lived in Korea. Although that location was rather short-lived. I also remember going to one at Cedar Point. I'm not sure if that one's still there. There's a large restaurant and bar. This leads you to gates C7 through C0. And it seems to go down quite a ways. I see a Starbucks at the end all the way down there. And there's a look out towards the tarmac. These seem to be American Airlines planes. So maybe rather than go all the way down that way, I'll head back. So it's a pretty big terminal, it seems. I think these pictures are showing the evolution of the airport. And I don't think Cancun was much of a destination back when this place opened in the 70s. Our driver was telling us that before the 80s, this area was pretty much just fields with very little population. And since then, it's exploded into over a million people. So 
this is the area where my gate will be, C12. I think when I'm done recording this video, I'll scoop up a coffee. I was just in that area. Pushing my luggage as I record this. I've also got a backpack on. Air Margaritaville. So here's where my gate will be. This is probably the flight before mine. There's a Spirit Airlines going to Fort Lauderdale. Waiting the board on this side. Once again, my number is Central Lake. We are holding passengers in the main of water and passengers in the main shoe. Passengers in the main water are holding pass and main shore. Welcome to the crew game C15. I've heard that this is the busiest this airport's been in the past two years. I guess not surprisingly. There's a Bubba Gump shrimp. Let's take another look out at the tarmac. There's a Delta flight. And there seems to be small armies of people walking in this direction. So this would be gate C20 to C26. I think someone just spotted my camera there. They got a little excited when they saw it. There's no shortage of restrooms around, which is always a good thing. The Kitchen Counter by Wolfgang Puck. quite busy up ahead and I'm guessing that's as far as I'll be able to go. Yeah. 
I think that's a cue to use the restroom. Man, look how busy it is over here. It's a flight to Baltimore that's been delayed just on the right. Just gonna get a peek out the window here. All right, and I think that's pretty much it for the airport here. Kind of walked all over. So I'm gonna head back, find my friends, grab a coffee. And let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And if you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. And I have an Instagram account, at Johnny Strides. All right, thank you for watching. Stay safe and I will catch you on the next one.